This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Susan Faulkner Evans and Bo. We're now working on the shoulder in and the Ron Traverse, that's the haunches in that they need for second level. Good. Now everything you're going to feel is, is he really stepping through from your inside leg? That's the only way he's got there. Feeling picking you up a little different? Yeah, it'll just be a couple steps. So consider them a gift. Good. Yep. More outside rain. That's you holding just a little bit too much on the inside rain. And the good news is, is did you watch that video with Charlotte? I have not. Well, when you get the time, you'll love it. Because you know she's getting training just about every day of the week, right? Yeah. And so she comes down the line and he's like, you're holding the inside rain too long and too hard. <laughs> and you'd think somebody of that level wouldn't have that issue anymore, right? Good. Now you'll notice when you put him in the position, it's like he slows down a little bit. That's when he's not using his inside hind legs to step into it. So you're going to do the half halt, send him forward and loosen the rein even if he goes straight forward into a curve. Like put him on a 10 meter circle. Good. There, there. That's the step you need. Do you feel the step? He's swinging from his hips and shoulders. From here we're going to start creating a leg yield for sec or a shoulder in for, sh for second level. Good. There he slowed down, unless that was a half halt. Good. So even in the half halt, his hind feet should stay just as active. And that'll be the tricky part. He'll be a little insulted. And they were averaging pretty much sevens and a little higher last year in second level with their shoulder in. Good, good. Feel the freedom he's getting in a step? I'm going to go behind and see what he's doing from there. Keep the freedom. Remember your half halt. You're really going to isolate the breath into your shoulder blades, into your seat, going forward in the saddle as you hold your hands and your hug with your legs. No longer than three steps. Good. You'll notice when you bring the shoulders in is when he starts taking shorter steps. So try to do it. <coughs> see if you can find it there. You added a little stretch to that, didn't you? Try doing it at the stretch? Yes. Yes, because right now we know that he'll take shorter steps because he's just now starting to understand connection to the rein from your legs. So when you feel him taking this, but he'll get doggy. Do you feel him getting slow? He's not allowed to take a break. He thinks he's going to take a walk break there. Do you feel it? So now you're going to shorten your reins again with a half halt. Round him up twice as much. More. Round him up more. Put him under your seat. That's it. Show him. Yep. Put him under there. He's under your seat. Feel it? Yeah. Now from there do a shoulder in and you're going to add a little stretch so he'll take longer steps because he's like two feet from tracking up right now only because when we shorten the reins at this time he shortens his steps. But that's what you'll be able to work through and in fact is what most horses go through as they're learning their lateral gates. Good. Now he's tracking up. There. There. You've got him swinging from his hips and shoulders. Do you feel it? Yeah. So you only give as much rain or take as much as you can without changing that step. Good. Lots of praise. Good. He's still tracking up. Tracking up is good. Less than tracking up and I'll let you know. That's it. That's where he's starting to die on you. Do you feel it? Slow down. So as soon as you feel that, half halt, compress him again, put his energy together. Round him up, send him forward with the energy, and praise him. He might only be able to hold it two steps. Good. There. He's coming through his shoulder and back different. Do you feel it? Okay. Now tell me when he starts disconnecting from it. That's right. Good. That's where you do another half halt because at this time he's not able to hold it that long. But you have plenty of time to show him where to be. Good. I like how he's keeping the longer steps now. He's over tracking like four inches, by the way. So all you did was, you feel him nodding his neck and everything now? Good. That's it. Okay, now let's add some Ronverse. So keep his shoulders pointed straight. His neck should be straight. That's right. As he looks down the rail. He should be wrapped around your left leg. You, yep, so that means you've got to get him to step over a little bit more with his left hind. Actively. 
So before you do it, remember now we're going to add the half halt, deep breath, going all the way up your body, lifting up your rib cage, going back to where your shoulder blades are in the back. Add your seat by making sure it's in the front of the saddle. Close your legs and close your hands and then let them flow. Good. He lost his rhythm. He lost his swing, I should say, because now, there, get him to swing more, more active with his left hind. More, more, more. Good, good, right there. Do you feel him stepping under you? Good. Do you want to try it the other way? Good. Keep him active. Keep, that's good, good. You're feeling it. That's it. Good. Yep, and remember, he's got to wrap around your right leg. More active with his right hind. More active with his left hind. Good, good. Praise him. Let him go forward. So right now, in his run, and his haunches in are out. He's taking shorter steps. But we expect that right now. So we're going to work on getting him to step up more because you got it in the, in the shoulder in where he's tracking up. Our goal will be to get him to step up further with his hind legs in the rhombus. Good. Get him to step up there. Good, good. You feel him swinging his hips? And shoulders? Good. Package them. Put them back together. Round them up. Half halt. Packaging is just rounding up. For some reason, it's easier for a rider to understand. Good. Then let them flow. The same thing will happen. You'll have to do a half halt like every two steps to keep his back end up. And the whole purpose of the half halt is to gather his body together so you have that energy like a spring to work with. Good. Good, Susan. Can you feel the difference in your, your traverse now? Yeah. Traverse is when their haunches are in to the inside of the ring. Round verse is when their haunches are out. Good. That was nice. Let's see his shoulder in. You've got a good feeling of what he's doing. Yeah, that was good at the end. Yes. Good, now same thing, you've got to feel, is he really under you or is he pretending he is? Are you riding his head or can you get him under your seat with a half halt? Yep, take a deep breath, put him under your seat so he lifts up his back. Yep, needs a longer half halt so that he sh he's got to lift up his back. So you're going to slow down the front end until you feel him pick up his shoulder like he's backing. There. That's it, because it's a different balance for second level and he's ready now for you to balance him different. Very good. And see, he doesn't mind it. It's like he's at a point where he's saying, just tell me where you want to be. Well, in this moment in time. Good, good. And he's tracking up. Yes, good, good. There he's starting to lose it, so put him together again with a half halt. Every time you feel him drop you on the back, slow down the front end, get the back end to catch up with your half halt, and then send him forward. Again, it might just be for two or three steps at this time. Good. Yep, keep them connected. Make sure, that's it. Good. Good, he's using his back nicely. He's still trying to figure it out, but that's where he should be. More activity from behind. Half halt to get him under your seat there. Good, good, and then let him flow. Good, half halt and flow. You ready to try this at the trot? Yep. All right. <laughs>